have made thousands of altars, and not one of them exists anymore. The only thing that remains is a photograph, an instantly captured image made of pixels and megabytes of the moment that altar was at its peak of health and vitality. Welcome to step six of the morning altars practice, share. In this step, you're gonna photograph your altar and share it with maybe a close friend or family or on social media, it's completely up to you. Now you might be wondering if this practice is so impermanent, why are we photographing it? Well, the big question is what's our intention? What's it for? When I first started photographing my altars, I would send them to friends and family as a way to inspire them, to help them feel more connected and more present in their day. And they loved it. They loved getting those photographs and the little story of why and how I made it and the little prayer that would accompany each altar. So in this step, we are going to create a photograph and also you're gonna create a altar narrative or birth certificate. And you can share that however is most comfortable to you. The big question is why? What is your intention? So let's go outside and you can see me photographing my altar and also talking about the story of how it came to be. This is step six of the morning altars practice called share. What you need for this step is a camera. Oftentimes I have my big camera with a tripod, but today because we're in the woods, I have my phone. So for this step, make sure you have a camera ready and we're gonna learn how to share your morning altar. So there's a photography exercise that I wanna invite you into. It's three steps. The first photograph I want you to take is of your altar's birth. So maybe it's the first thing or the first couple of things that you put down and photograph that. The second photograph I want you to take is of its full maturity. So right now, for instance, mine is what I would call done or complete. So take a photograph of it in its fullness, exactly as you intended it to be. And the third and final photograph that might happen hours later or days later is I want you to come back to the spot that you photographed those two other photographs and photograph your altar in its decay. Maybe the leaves are wilted or the flowers have blown away or the shells got crunched, but I want you to document the life of your altar. Another exercise I wanna invite you into is to create your altar's birth certificate. Every altar that I've ever made has had one. It includes the name, so I name the altar, the location and the time it was made in, what the altar was made from, the process of making it, what happened when I was making it, and lastly, the dedication that we did from uh, step five. One important piece that I wanna invite you into is that when you do your altar's birth certificate, ask yourself, where was it made? Now, I'm on a place called Salt Spring Island, but Salt Spring Island also has an indigenous name, and that's called Winanech by the Tsu Nation. So whenever I create a morning altar's birth certificate, I challenge myself to not just name the, the settler's name, but also the indigenous name of the place that it was made in. So you've photographed your altar and you've created its birth certificate, and now it's time to let your altar into the world, to let that gift ripple out and inspire other people, whether that's on social media or in private messages to your friends and family, or even just printing it up and hanging it in your home. Now is the time to share it, to let this gift move through you and back out into the world. My name is Dave Shulkret of Morning Altars, and that was step six, share.